Some viewers may find the following video disturbing. Viewer discretion is advised. Well, hello and welcome back to the channel. In today's video, we find ourselves at Indianapolis where a jailbird Craig is harassing cops. He must just love the taste of prison food, especially Nutriloaf. If you've never heard of Nutriloaf, then be grateful. It's a concoction of food that is thrown together in a bowl and turned into a loaf of bread-like substance that they give to prisoners they have in isolation. But anyway, let's sit back, relax, and enjoy the show. What? What are you doing? Just checking out the vehicle, man. What are you doing? Oh, I'm working. You're working? Can I help you with something? Charles uh, Charles since you asked, man, is there anything in the vehicle that I should know about? You're seeming a little bit jumpy when I'm getting close to it. Yeah, this is my vehicle. What do you need? I just wanted to use the plain view doctrine. Check it out, man. No. Craig, you are not a police officer, and plain view doctrine does not apply to you. Is there any, you want to go ahead and roll that window down for me? Sir, roll your window down. You get away from my car while we're doing this investigation. No, I don't. Sir, you're obstructing my investigation. Stop obstructing! Once upon a time, in a land far, far away, Craig wanted to be a cop, but he took the wrong path in life and became... A moron. And not just any moron, but a self-deluded, narcissistic, pain-in-the-butt moron who couldn't find a job to save his life, and therefore he's just gotta harass cops all day. Oh, how sad. Stay seven feet away from my car while I'm doing my investigation. Stop barking orders at truck, me, dude. Right? What? How how far away do I look seven right now? Feet. I am seven feet. That's good. Stay there. Good. Stop giving me unlawful... Hey, shut up and do your job. Shut up and do your job. You, you know what? Shut up and do your job, man. You heard me. I heard, I heard you. You heard me. Shut up and do your job. You have a good day, little buddy. Get the hell out of here. You gonna learn who the boss is today. You gonna learn who you work for, buddy. Hey, yeah. You you <laughs> he can't do sh If he does, he's gonna be looking at about 700 grand in lawsuits. <laughs> That's awesome. Me? Yeah. About these guys, because they like to go around giving unlawful orders, like, stay seven feet, like, buddy, I don't give a fuck what you say. Shut up and do your job. Learn who you work for. Oh, okay. Yeah. It is okay. Where are you going to get the money for a, a lawsuit like that? Because civil litigation takes a lot of money. You are now under investigation. Name and badge number. Name and badge number. What? What is your name and badge? My investigation, I'm glad to get it to you. But I'm only doing my investigation right now. When I'm done with it and I close the run, I will give it to you. Okay, what inve then, you're not getting it. What are you investigating? Don't worry about it. It's not your business. You're not part of it. I'll just do a public records you request. You can do whatever you want to do. Yeah. But I'm asking. my investigation, I'll get out and I'll give you my name and badge number. Okay, sir, do you want to identify? I identify what? No, you. He don't. he don't? Okay. He, so you speak for him now? Actually, yeah. <laughs> he said actually yes like like he does actually speak for that guy you know with this attitude that you've got it's only a matter of time before you're back in the pokey i mean guys we weren't even here for this guy if he had just shut up and done his job nobody would have even bothered him but he just had to go around screaming unlawful directives get away from my car and keep it seven feet like nobody's wanting to hear that shit just do your job that we pay you for. That's all we want. I'm here for the justice building, which is 
this massive building right here. That's what we're going to be going and auditing. I don't actually have too much time to sit here and dilly daddle, -daddle with this clown in his clown costume. But um, I've actually got an IMPD complaint form, I believe. He's sitting there eating his Jolly Ranchers. They've substituted. They, they, are they, is that your substitute for your donuts? <laughs> oh man, he's he's ego he's ego crazy. Yeah. Oh yeah, he's he's screaming unlawful orders. Oh, sure. uh, he's like seven feet, or else you're gonna get arrested. Like, yeah. Well, he he says he is conducting an investigation right now. Yeah. Yeah, he won't he won't he won't identify either. We got a refusal to identify. Yep. We got a refusal to identify on this one, guys. I mean, all I was doing was exercising the plain view doctrine, and he wanted to get all butthurt like he's never exercised that. Hey, we're here with Hoosier News now. He's joining us today. We are, yeah, we are investigating corrupt officials today. We, uh, I told him he's, cur uh, this guy is currently under investigation, but we got to get his name and badge number so that we really know how to, uh, who we're who we're dealing with? Because right now I don't know who I'm dealing with today, so it's kind of, it, you know, you know how it is. You know, you don't know who you're dealing with. I mean, you saw how the state police reacted to not knowing who they were dealing with. They came and and attacked, asked questions later. You keep using the term plain view doctrine, yet you have no clue what it means. Well, I guess that's why you're such a loser, because you're so misinformed about everything. So I'm going to give you one more chance, all right? Here's the deal. I'm going to need you to identify. You understand me today? So that's a refusal to identify. Am I getting that straight? I know you can hear me. I see your window crack there. Okay. No identify. Have you ever seen that show, Undercover Boss? Because that's what, that's basically what this is. Yes, I've seen it, and this is nowhere near like that show. Because those CEOs actually made an effort to hide their identity and appear to be just another one of the workers so they could learn from them. You, on the other hand, are standing out in the open like a sore thumb, acting like an idiot. That's not what they did. All right, you're, you're talking to your boss today. So you better show a little bit more respect. These guys. Yeah. Well, we go around to, and we record, like, there's a lot of these street clowns, we call them. They go around in their costumes, and they try to bully people. So we just make sure that we catch it on camera, you know. All we can do is roll the camera, and it just picks up what it picks up. Yep. Yeah, the street clowns. Yeah. They dress up in their costumes, man, and they think that they, they're fucking hot shit. <laughs> you know, I could put on a costume all I wanted to. Eventually. I'm gonna go investigate this guy. Hi. Hi. You doing? Yeah. Good. All right, we got a unit pulling up. Yep. Yeah. I'm gonna have to. I, I don't know. I think he's just here for intimidation purposes. Probably. Yeah. Probably. Uh, no, he's just there to see 
what a moronic jobless loser looks like so he could learn how not to be one. I'm going to give this guy a chance, you know what I mean? He may just have responded to a call. Maybe he's going to be polite. So I'm not going to come. Oh, yeah, you responded to their Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah, no doubt. I mean, he's here for ganging them, but. Of course he is. Yeah. Man, they've been doing this investigation. Are you investigating your computer, sir? Oh, is that what you're, they're here for? They said there's nothing that they can do about it. Oh, yeah? There's nothing they can do. That's their name and badge number. Yep. My ID number is 40189. Sergeant Forney. Sergeant Forney. All right. Thank you, sir. Can you get there? We've asked them, and they no, refused to. Okay. They're thanks. Free. Yeah, because they refuse to identify. and. Right. They know better than that. Okay, so we actually, we know what they're investigating right now. They said that they cannot, they cannot do anything about a young lady who got the, uh, who got physically battered by three older women. So that's, I mean, these guys are superheroes, so we wouldn't expect anything less from them, you know, but, uh, yeah. So they actually are here on it. Yeah, yeah, but they already said there's nothing they can do about it. Yeah, that's what we just heard. So, yeah, probably gonna make sure to get everybody's IDs. You know what I mean? Just oh yeah, serve their addiction. Yeah, no doubt. You guys go. All right, awesome. And what one is which? Is the is the guy in the driver's seat Faulkner? Correct. Okay, awesome. No, no, no. Yes, sorry, driver's seat. Okay, that sounds great, man. So the, FTL, the other guys are training. So okay, good right. stuff. So taking a little longer than normal. Yeah, yeah. I appreciate yeah. it. Thank you. That's all we needed, man. We kind of know what you guys are doing here today now. So uh, I'm. Yeah, yeah, no problem. We appreciate you actually getting them to identify. You have a good day now. Yep. Well, there you have it, folks. I just wonder what the whole point of this issue was. I mean, is this protecting our rights? Uh, I have no clue. Or maybe it's just that he can't find a job because of how much of a moron he is, so he's got to do something. But who really knows?